Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. I wasn't planning to do a video here, um, but let me talk to you guys about something real quick. If this is your first time to the channel, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces here. This video is uncut. Now, I'm gonna put a second cut in this video actually, so it's not a true uncut, it's just gonna be a one cut because Again, I wasn't planning to do this video here because A, the sound that that pump is making over there into this beautiful stream or beautiful uh, reservoir does not truly communicate the amount of peace that can be experienced here because of that noise happening right now. But I also want to do it because Eli, I was trying to fish all morning and Eli Fisherman Master over here has already caught like three fish in the last, <laughs> of course. We saw it, bud. We saw it. We saw that fish. That's what I'm saying. This kid, <laughs> this kid just, he throws his line in the water and he gets fish. I've literally been fishing here all morning. He wakes up, puts the pole in the water, and he has a, that's his fourth fish in like five casts. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how you do it, Eli. Well, I just have the brain. What's that? I just have the brain. <laughs> He's got the brain. Oh, I think I smashed my camera. Oh no, it's just dust. Okay. Wow, a cast without a fish on the end. Unbelievable. So, just wanted to share this place with you guys here. I hope you all had a wonderful Independence Day celebration. And uh, the second half of this video, we are going to go back to the house, hang out in the snake room, and I'm going to give you guys a little preview of animals that you can see at the Reptile Super Show coming up in Anaheim this weekend. <laughs> Good boy. Oh yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest transition ever in the history of all Brian Cusco videos. <laughs> Alright, Hilo, but you gotta get out of here, dude, because we're gonna pull our big reticulated python, Halo, Halo, Halo. Halo's in the holding pin down there. She just had a nice big shed. And before this video is over, we're gonna pull her out so we can get a little update, get you guys seeing her. So you gotta get out of here, Halo, so that Halo doesn't have a Halo snack. Not that she could fit your whole thing in her mouth, but she might try. Come on, bud. Vamanos. See you later, bud. Good boy. Good boy. See you in a little bit. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get Halo out and just wanted to show you guys a few of the animals that we are bringing to the Reptile Super Show in Anaheim this weekend. Hopefully, we'll see you there. And uh, that would be really awesome. There's a little note while I'm pulling out the first one to show you. Um, I won't be at the booth pretty much all day Saturday. I'm going to be running around getting video for the Reptile Super Show for Rami. So you won't find me at my booth. However, my mother and father will be there. I'm holding the fort down at the Triple B booth where we'll have these animals. And it's going to be her birthday. So if you guys do me a huge favor, she she did us a big favor by coming down to help out at the show on her birthday. If you guys go by the Triple B booth and you see my mom there, if you would wish her a happy birthday, I would really appreciate it. And it would be really cool if you did that. So thank you. Um, that, that, here's my mom right here, by the way. That's what she looks like. She looks like me. Uh, okay, let's see. How about just just a few, just a few of the really cool animals that we're bringing to the show. Let's start. Let's start here. This one's it's probably in shed, which is you know standard operations around these parts. Standard operations, snake and shed. Yep, he he is in shed. I should say she she is in shed. That's okay. That's okay. Let me get some better light on the subject. So this here is an in-shed Enchi Cypress Mojave Possible Het Sunset female and this is one of the animals that will be there at the show and you can come check her out in person and I'm guessing since as I'm filming this it's Tuesday that she will be out of shed by the weekend. Here's to hoping. See I got all, got all my stuff sitting out there because I'm ready to rock and roll and get get things happening already just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row know which animals I'm bringing know which animals are staying here 
and all that fun stuff. But that's just one of many, and let's take a look at another. You know what? There's one that I'm really excited for you guys to be bringing, just not, not just for the person that ends up possibly getting this animal, but also because uh, it's just so beautiful. I, I'm really stoked to have this animal on the table when we get there at the show this weekend. And that is this animal right here. Oh, Freedom Breeder Rack Shelf. Man, you gotta get one. So convenient to put the camera down. So this is, oh, I'm gonna mess up all the genes that are going on in here. I, I As I mentioned in a previous video when I was showing off this clutch, I did uh, run all these animals by Justin Kabilka since he was the one who produced the father of this clutch just to make sure I was on point. And I'm forgetting right now what was going on here, but it's definitely an Enchi pinstripe, red stripe, clown, and maybe yellow belly. I'll double check. Just, Justin confirmed what, what was going on in this snake um, so that we could be sure of the genetics that we were going to be selling at the show. And this is a... As I look at this snake, I, I have trouble... I have trouble admitting that I'm that we're actually going to let this animal go at the show. Um, well, maybe somebody won't buy it. And this this is a female. This is a female, so that's one heck of a snake to be bringing to the show, man. For me, I think I'm, I'm just exceptionally excited about bringing that animal because it's just one of the most one of the coolest clowns I think we've ever produced here at Triple B. And uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty so. Oh, you know what? No, it's so I said maybe red stripe. I think there's no red stripe, but there is spot nose. I'll double check. I got all the notes that Justin sent me uh, when I was checking in with him to make sure I knew what I was talking about. That was the one thing I flipped up. I think I, I, I was thinking there was red stripe, and he said not red stripe, but spot nose. So let's take another look. Let's, there's, there's a lot. There's actually a lot of animals that we're bringing. We're going to have a full, a full table at the show. Oh, oh, definitely got to show this one. And fun thing is, I was almost, I was almost going to go do a last minute trip to Freedom Breeder today. And also on that last minute trip to Freedom Breeder, I was going to drop off one of these animals that uh, somebody that lives not too far from up there got. I was going to hand deliver one of the sunsets that we sold. Um, so we did sell one of the sunsets. However, I haven't even put them up on Morph Market yet or anything like that. Do you see that? That was, that was really dumb. Uh... <laughs> However, this one, um, this one, I haven't put anything on more from like I said, so it's going to be, oh, dude, this animal is eating incredibly too. This is a male. This is an Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, and this dude is going to be on the table at the show. If you've never seen a sunset in person, you can come by and, and check him out just for that fact, but he will be, he will be available as well. He's not just going to be on the table. Uh, for show, this animal is going to be available. I have a female from this clutch that I'm going to be keeping, and since I already have an Enchi Cinnamon Sunset Breeder male, decided we're gonna let him go to somebody that really wants to jump up into the Sunset Project in a big way. With Enchi Cinnamon being one of the best combos yet made ever uh, with Sunset, just that Enchi really brings out the oranges, and the cinnamon just helps out with that. Have you ever seen an Enchi Cinnamon? You know that it already kind of is a pretty orange animal. You throw that in with sunset, and oh, there you go. So that dude is coming, and will be on the table, available for the lucky individual. And I should have done this when I started the video. Let me turn that fan off so we don't have any more of those mistakes. This is a very forgiving fan, though. For as large as it is, it really is forgiving if something blocks its path. Like it's hit me in the head. I don't know how many times. It's probably a good explanation for how these videos operate and is how many times I've been hit in the head by that fan. It's a lot. <laughs> Maybe one more, one more animal. You know what, how about I show you, instead of showing you all these animals, since I'm sure that a lot of you that are watching this video are not gonna actually make it to the show, how about we show an animal that I'm not bringing to the show? How about that? Let's do that. Because this animal, I've decided, is way too nice not to keep, and I just, I'm just keeping it. I, I have a real trouble, I've, I have a real, real trouble with holdbacks here at Triple B. I tend to be open to selling anything, like, you know, kind of anything has a, like, like a price, with the exception of like Halo and, and other snakes that are pets here. Um, but, 
This animal, this is this one was just too nice. I have I have to keep this animal. I cannot look at that. That's just that's just one of the most gorgeous ball pythons I've ever seen in my entire life. And from what I can tell, this animal is just going to continue to age in a way that is beautiful and amazing. And I just don't. I, I want him here I, or her. Uh, this animal's not going anywhere. And we'll stay in here. Into the light with you. Get a better shot. Hold still. Just look at the contrast. Just, just look at the sides. My goodness, that is a good looking snake right there. Bah! Yes! All right, let's check out Halo. You venture in there. Let's pull out Miss Nicey Nice. Halo, my beautiful snake inside and out. Such a pleasure to have a reticulated python as mellow as this snake. And since she just finished shedding, I figured she'd show you guys too. What's up, Halo? Here, let's put this up here. And Halo, let's bring you out here so everybody can see you in your glory. Oh yeah. That's a good looking snake. Whoa, what are you doing, crazy? Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. Halo, gorgeous as ever. Still the most well-behaved snake I've ever seen in my entire life. And even when she gets me in full, full lock there on the wrist. I need, I, <laughs> Halo, give me that hand. All right. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most beautiful snakes you'll ever see in your entire life. Halo, the beauty. The beauty, look at the colors. Look at, look at how gorgeous she is. My goodness. That is an amazing snake. Oh, yeah. Dude. She looks even better in person, if you can believe that. Well, thank you guys for tuning in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the snakes. I hope that we're gonna see you at the Reptile Super Show. And I hope to see you there when the creation itself is set free from the bondage of decay and obtains the freedom of the glory of the children of God. Romans 8, 21. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video or at the Anaheim Reptile Super Show. Aloha. Pew.